Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, it's been a little while since my last video. And actually this is some cards I forgot I had. I picked up in the show a couple months ago when looking for some cards I know I had and then found this. So I thought, oh man, I need to get this one logged and, uh, and remember what I picked up. So some really good dime boxes through here and then a couple dollar boxes and 50 cents over there. But good show, let me show you what I have. I don't like to waste time, let's get into it and show you. Um, as you know, if you've seen my videos before, I like to pick up some red stuff. This is all dime over here. And I'll tell you what, off the top, I'm really happy with a Topps Total Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, that's actually a really nice find. Uh, Pepsi Lou Pinella from back in the day. Uh, Reds team card. How about some 74s? These are really sharp. I was surprised there's some good vintage in there. I'll show you just with how sharp they are. Don Gullett, Gary Nolan, Jack Billingham, Clay Carroll. No real stars per se, but still nice. 85 Mario Soto. Um, that is, yeah, a uh, Joey J. And then Lou Pinella in the 90 Topps traded set. Um, which is kind of cool. I found these. These are really neat. Man, you forget how loaded the early 80s brewers were. These are gardeners. They're like tops from 84. Um, a gardener set. Check this out. Cecil Cooper, Ben Ogilvy, uh, Raleigh Fingers, Paul Molitor, Ted Simmons, put Molitor on the top there, Don Sutton, and Robin Yount, a whole bunch of Hall of Famers on the brewers at the same time. My gosh, they were so loaded. Uh, let's see what we got in this stack. Uh, Chris Welsh with the Columbus Clippers. Always cool. The guy calls games for the Reds now, so need to see one of his minor league cards. I found one up there before like this as well. Um, some random stuff. Christy Matthewson there. Ted Williams in the dime box uh, in that 74 design, which is cool. Bob Lemon. Dream Team Dave Stewart. He just had that great look. Uh, there's a Lewis Robert. No more. Uh, Mark McGuire League leaders. 90s Dominator. Remember these out of Donner. Cecil Fielder. An 85 Donners, yeah, it's a straight Donners, uh, Dale Murphy. And Phil Gardner, 82 Donners. This is interesting, this is actually a reverse negative. Not the regular one, this is a reverse negative one that um, is a little more prized. So that one goes for a couple bucks, and I only found that one in the dime box. So it's always cool to find a reverse negative. I mean, I don't know if anybody really cares that much about that, but it's still neat. Let me go back here. I always love finding the box bottoms. Um, there's a George Bell, Fernando Valenzuela, and Vince Coleman. Those are the 86 years. Yeah. So I always love box bottoms. Found those in the dime box. Was very happy. This is cool. When we went traveling out west as a kid, uh, my parents gave us the classic 87 uh, sets. You could do trivia with it, as you, you know, and play the game with it. Um, so I learned a lot of trivia with that. And these 87 ones, this is the, the yellow border ones or the travel set. I remember because I had this as a kid. They're sometimes a little bit trickier to find. So these are really cool to find the dime box with BJ Suroff, Dale Murphy. The Joe Necro, this is always one of the most favorite ones with the uh, toss in the rosin bag or whatever. Uh, Andre Dawson, I don't know what he did to make somebody mad they used that photo, but sure, geez. Cal Daniels, man, what a career he could have if he had stayed healthy. And Kurt Stillwell. So I love those 87 classics. Uh, come up here, we'll come down to this here in a moment. Um, let's see here. There is a McGuire coin. They had some coins. The guy grabbed a bunch. He left the McGuire behind, which is good. I'll snag that. Um, also, in the dime box, I bought a Beau Bichette. And then, you know, some of these, I think these are the Walmart version, the holiday ones, I think. There's a Vlad Jr., uh, Jared Walsh there, Kyle Lewis. And then how about a nice just Juan Soto? I mean, it's just a base card, but it just looks cool. And then how about a candlestick when uh, the, the uh, World Series got hit by the earthquake? And then... The original Cincinnati Red Stockings. I just thought that was cool. For a dime, I figured, you know, why not? So before I move on to some of the other stuff, let's go to some of the vintage. These are checklists. I think 61. I forgot to check on these. I think these are 61s. I know they're marked up, but I just think they're cool. This was probably the best pull out of the whole entire thing. It's a Dick Williams 71 tops. Yeah, not bad shape. It is a high number. The 714, that's a high number. Goes for 9 or 10 bucks, which is awesome. Um, and as someone who collects uh, A's, I would never have found that in a price that was halfway decent, except for, you know, luckily in a dime box. Tom Seaver, 86, uh, rookie of Mike Boddicker. Uh, there's a Jim Palmer. How about some 74s? And one's getting in great shape. I mean, these things are, you know, pretty sharp. Burt Bly, 11 Hall of Famer. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer in the dime box. Um, these are really nice. Uh, Gary Templeton. How about Dave Parker? You can never wrong with a Dave Parker for a dime. Rick Sutcliffe, Tony Perez, OPG Ted Simmons from 84, which is kind of cool. Louis Tion, I forgot, I looked this up. This is an all-star card, whatever was cut next to him, whoever it was, and I looked up and I found it on a sheet, and I can't remember who it was now. I think it was uh, an Oakland A, and I can't remember which one it was. It was an all-star. That's the card that's on the side there. 
Um, speaking of Quinesa, they are for the World Series card. A Tim McCarver, 75, in really nice shape once again. Um, surprising for a dime. 72s, Gene Tennis. The Oakland A's, once again, as an A's collector, that is amazing to find that for a dime. I'm very happy with that. Mel Stoudemire, and a 71 World Series. Uh, once again, for I find those for a dime in that kind of shape was a real um, great thing for me, I, I mean, in my mind. I picked up a bunch of these um, uh, college cards of guys. You know, I like to pick up guys who are Notre Dame, or a lot of times if they're um, some of the schools I, I've covered in the past, like Tennessee, Carl Pickens, who I loved with the Bengals. Uh, there's Ty Detmer, who was fun to watch when he played. Ronnie Smith, Notre Dame. Andy Kelly. Jeremy Lynch. Pickens again. Carlos Snow. Scotty Graham from Ohio State. A bunch of Ohio States. Kent Graham, Alonzo Spellman. Tony Brooks. And then uh, T. Higgins, who I covered in high school. Super nice guy. Fun to see there. And Ben Roethlisberger um, from Miami, where I went to school. So, always that's really cool. Let's find some football for you out of the dime box. Um, since I live in Cincinnati, I like to pick up the Bengals, like Collinsworth Brooks, the Bengals team card. Steve Largent, uh, Eric Dickerson, a little bit older, Isaac Curtis, that's uh, 79. There's Ken Anderson. Uh, these are 83s, I believe. Yep, Collinsworth, so another Ken Anderson for 83. Uh, Derek Brooks. These are neat. These came out of the Donruss Magazine. You can see they're kind of uh, kind of got the deco edging because they were like in there and you had to break them out. Um, so those were neat. I picked those up because I've never seen those before. There's a Drew Bledsoe and Eddie George. Some more Bengals with uh, James Brooks. I just like team cards, Patriots team cards. And there was some vintage football for the dime. Uh, John Hanna. Oops, there's Terry Pendleton with that tra with a trade card, if you remember that one from Collector's Choice. Just put that over here somewhere. That got mixed in. How about Ray Guy? Uh, Tom Dempsey rocking the hardcore, awesome stash. Carl Eller. Craig Morton. Terry Metcalf. Uh, this one's in terrible shape, but still cool. With Sonny Jorgensen and Ken Anderson. It's got some tape on the side there. But for a dime, I wasn't too picky. Billy Joe Dupree, Jeff Van Noot's a rookie card, Ken Houston, Bill Kilmer, and Bubba Smith. You don't, you don't want to mess with Bubba Smith. So those are great for a dime. I was really pleased with that. Not much hockey that I found, but uh, LaPointe, a Hodge, those are old school. Those are uh, 75, 76s. And how about a Connor McDavid? Um, something a little more recent, but I thought, why not? It was, you know, he's a heck of a player. I'll pick it up for a dime. Basketball had some really nice vintage. Uh, not going to lie. Gail Goodrich, Connie Hawkins, all these ones going to dime. Austin Carr, Don Chaney. How about some three-point shooting leaders with uh, Louis Dampier playing for the Kentucky Colonels? That's just really cool. I always like kind of the art cards. I'm going to do some stuff with those here in a little bit. Uh, work on some of those for my own art. The team cards are cool. Some magics. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of uh, Malones and Stocktons for some friends of mine. So that's always neat to pick up. And then a couple of Wally Zerbiaks. Once again, like Ben Roethlisberger, went to Miami University, so I'll pick up a couple Wallies uh, for that. So that's what I picked up are the dimes. Uh, picked up a couple 50 centers here because these are just so clean and crisp. So nice. I think they're replaced better than the ones I currently have in my collection that I need. Um, so those will be an upgrade uh, just, for the, just for that price. Um, also for the dollar, Super Bowl. This is, uh, check this out. This is uh, really cool. This is uh, Roger Staubach on the cover there. These are a dollar. These were a dollar. And then the King Griffey Jr. Sports Illustrated for Kids for a dollar. In great shape. Um, in my mind, anyway, it's great shape. So that was in the buck box. So was this one. I'm very pleased with, with that for Staubach. Both those guys from Cincinnati, by the way. Um, once again, it's cool where I grew up. And then the last two things for a dollar. One of them was this. It is the Atlantic uh, Fleer set. There's two or three guys in there I actually wanted for collections. So I figured for a dollar, I'd buy the whole entire thing, pull the two or three guys I need out, and actually maybe four guys looking at it for individual PCs, and then see if I can flip the rest, you know, for a cheap price to make the money back on it. And then finally also for one dollar was a Andrew Bogut jersey card. I mean, I'm not a huge Bogut fan by any means, and nothing against guy either, but when you can pick up a jersey card for a dollar, I am going to, especially because I know a guy who's actually from Australia, and I think he uh, kind of likes Bogan a little bit, so that may just be going to him well worth it for a dollar. So that's what I was able to pick up for a lot of these things for a dime and a couple other things for a dollar. Um, overall, really good show. Um, hope you guys are having a great night, and uh, happy hunting out there.